Time Lord's automated render pipeline is unique and allows for easy export and import of layers between apps. Let's take a look at a round trip between Animate, After Effects, and Photoshop. Starting in Animate, select some or all of the layers in the timeline and click the Eyeball button. Swifts are generated almost instantly, and all of these rough layers will be brought into After Effects. The process of rendering layers out of Photoshop is the same as Animate, but generating image sequences will take a little more time. The work area in Photoshop defines which frames will be rendered. Photoshop timelines are exported as image sequences. This means edited frames may be re-rendered and overwritten without having to wait for the full sequence. By adjusting the work area's start and end points, selected layers are exported individually with blending modes for easier compositing. Since Overlord's release, the request that comes up most is the transferring of static Photoshop layers into After Effects. When inside of a PSD without a timeline, the Time Lord Eyeball button will work like Overlord. Selected layers in groups will be rendered and transferred along with their blending modes. Exporting individual layers makes it possible to transfer the layers you need rather than the full PSD file. This also means not having to worry about the PSD layer count and having to re-import the full PSD. Changes made to layers will be overwritten and updated in After Effects with each new export. There are also a couple more transfer layer buttons hidden by default, but available in the Time Lord Settings panel. Clicking the PSD or FLA button will easily import the open Photoshop or Animate project. After Effects will ask where to create Swifts from Animate or how you wish to import the PSD. Import as a layered comp or as a single footage layer. It's possible to quickly render a non-layered Swift from Animate by clicking the Render Timeline button. This automated export system generates files relative to the current saved After Effects project file. Inside the After Effects panel, twirl down options and click the relative path to open a folder picker at the current project path. Navigate up and over to a folder relative to the project file. As I create new projects, I keep this consistent folder structure and files will always be rendered out of Time Lord into the same path within each project. To see the exported files on disk, just click the relative path to open the Time Lord export folder. Exported files are grouped by their file type inside of the Time Lord folder. If you work on a lot of diverse folder structures or just prefer to have complete control over where your files are saved, uncheck this option and each time you click to render, the Adobe app will ask where to save. Time Lord will still import this render into After Effects like normal. That's rendering with Time Lord. I hope this helps you work faster and enjoy the process more. Check out help.battleaxe.co for more info.